share the same goals when it comes to legacy and leaving a legacy and, and, and you know, building for our children's future. You know what I'm saying? So you can have little money or you can meet somebody who has a lot of money, but their mindset is not there. You know what I'm saying? And that matters too. So if I can't, okay, so I can't be with someone whose mindset is okay with being at a certain level. I need someone who's always striving for more and to do better because that's how I move. So for me, Shanita, I'm gonna be like, God ah, dang girl, how you do all that in one day? It's crazy. So I cannot be with someone and see me working circles around them all day and they only been there did a little bit of something and i'm like because i'll start to be like it causes me i'm just gonna be honest since we had an honest conversation it will cause me to lose a level of respect because i feel like i'm working circles around you like and so that's what i mean i be telling my girls all the time man i don't know i don't know what my future looks like for me because <laughs> Yeah, oh, man. future <laughs> is on another continent and another country. I can tell you easily and I know effortlessly. That. Oh, I know and that. I, and I get in trouble when I say I know. So, so Shanita, we talked to share something with them that we, I don't think we've ever shared before. We're not going to say a name, of course. Shanita, tell them about your hookup. How you hit me up and how that went? Are you in hot? So, camp, girl? I, Start from so the I called You're because uh, you <laughs> someone called me from the continent of Africa, and they were coming. And this is how you know mm -hmm. you'll be knowing stuff. They called me, and a lot of times, as me being an ambassador working on the continent of Africa, it works on both ends. Like when I'm going to Africa, or people are traveling there. I make sure they're good, they're safe, the business is going to work out the right way. But most people don't know when people come from Africa to the U.S. And so it's called global inclusion. It means including business in both places, right? And so the person called me and was like, hey, I'm coming to America. I need you to make sure I need to stay at this hotel, you know, get me a car. I'm like, I don't work for you. You know, I say that to them all the time, but a lot of them are friends. And they said, but I'm getting ready to go to Huntsville. I said, Alabama. They said, yes. I said, for what? They said to buy some helicopters. Y'all ain't listening to me. I said, buy some helicopters. They like, yeah, you didn't know a lot of helicopters are built and produced in Alabama. Who would have ever knew, y'all? I didn't know they was building helicopters and mm -hmm. producing aircrafts in Alabama. So I was like, okay, you going, wait. And then they said, not helicop helicopters with an S. So, you know, that's a lot of money. So I'm like, okay. And they were like, yeah, so you got to get it taken care of. My and I was like, who live in Huntsville? Melody. So I'm like, Wah! I'm like, you single? What's going I said, what's your relationship status looking like these days? And so I asked him a few questions and I was like, okay. I was like, I have somebody that lives in in uh, Alabama. And I think y'all should exchange. Look, people talk about NASA, Mercedes, helicopter, y'all sleeping on Alabama. And so I was like, I have somebody yeah. that I think you should meet or whatever the case may be. Now, let me tell y'all about hookups. When you get a certain age or you're getting a certain social class, I just believe that hooking somebody up through a person that you know that respects you and you respect them, I feel like they have to respect the situation. When you date a stranger, you just left outside. Wherever the cards may lay, then that's what it is. But if somebody directly introduces you to somebody, they have to hold some kind of respect to how they gonna treat you because they know in real life they gotta treat you and respect your uh -huh. passport, y'all. I don't I don't gave the numbers. I hooked them up, y'all. Okay, so Shanita, tell them about your hookup. Tell them about your hookup. Okay, so Shanita, tell them about your hookup. 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 Tell them about
flashing lights. Just tell me yeah. everything I need to do. And I'm like, well, that's it. So the, the first date was. You get on my nerves. Y'all, this is, this is exclusive. No, but we got to get to the point of, I got to tell y'all about Melody character, which when we get to the end, y'all really going to see how cool my friend is. So Melody get flewed out, y'all, on the highest level. Folks got security. I done got yeah. a little video with the flashing yeah. lights in the front or whatever the case may be. Melody was treated very well, came yeah. back. I could be transparent, y'all. Mm -hmm. Nothing physical happened, right? So this person is like, I really like mm -hmm. her. Now me, I'm like, listen, she a big package. I, I want to make sure. Don't try. This lady got kids with an S. So let's make sure. And I remember yeah. like Valentine's Day was coming up and they was like, yeah, yeah. So, and this is not like Africa. I don't know why they got access to so many flowers so easily and effortlessly. They like, yeah, I want to send 250 dozens of roses to Melody. I said, what? So they was like, yeah, I want to send 250 dozens of roses to Melody. I'm like, this ain't Africa in America. That's going to be like $12,000. Like what? And they like make it happen. I was like, and then me, I'm a hater. I'm like, I ain't sending mail 250 dozens. I'm not about to give mail 12. You can give mail $12,000 before we buy $12,000 worth of flowers. I, I'm not the friend that want to call on that. I wasn't being a hater, but we wasn't about to send $12,000 worth of flowers. Can you transfer Zelle, Cash App, like $12,000? So I'm like, okay, just meet me in the middle, okay? I'm going to go, we're going to structure some flowers. We're going to spend a significant amount of money. I even found a black florist, y'all. Because I was like, if I'm going to give away this kind of money, I'm going to give it to a black florist. I'm not about to call. Sunday, yeah, I, did. I didn't call Venus LaFlora. I called a black person that's selling flowers. Like, hey, we about to get this check. Let me get you some money for your business. So these people about to pay. Fast forward, Mel got the flowers. I just want to fast forward in the story that this person did everything necessary to date male, to court male, to not try to get her physically. Look, I just got chills. And my friend was just like, this is not the person for me. Like, I know this is not the person that God has for me. And I felt like, damn, that's grown because there's a lot of people out here that would have only looked at the financial part. They would have only looked at the money part or the gifts. And I'm talking about they was courting on the highest level. Like, I want her. But Mel looked at the person, their lifestyle, how much they traveled, what they got going on. And she was like, this is not my person. And this is what I say about the responsibility when other people hook up other people. Because that thing didn't end with two people blowing up or not being friends or it didn't end up disrespectful nobody ended up feeling like somebody was using the other person and then guess what we me and her still friends me and him still friends i'm talking about every time he get a chance where mail at i'd be like leave her alone he'd be like that don't be my wife i'd be like that is not your <laughs> wife because she said you are not her <laughs> wife okay so oh, that is not your, your wife so i i just I, I can respect it. And ladies, if somebody is not for you, leave that man for somebody else. Leave yeah, like, home. don't, right. don't waste right. don't people's miss. time. Don't break people's hearts. Right. I, I think that's a male, you the MVP, because I might have rolled that one out for a little bit. All that money. That was <laughs> no, and I told you so crazy. But listen, y'all, this is our first time talking about this and like really going into details about the situation. But I remember I told her, I was like, mm -mm. I was like, no, I said, and you know, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to break his heart, but I know he's not, I would love just being his friend. We can be friends, but no, like, and then it was, well, I don't know if he would be able to be okay with just being friends with me because he really likes me, you know, and I'm not a user. Remember, I was like, I'm not going to use him. I'm not going to do none of that. Like, no, ma'am. And like you said, to this, I could text him or call him right now if I want to. And he'll be like, Melody. Melody. <laughs> he'll be like, Melody, what are you doing? <laughs> the, man, the man went crazy when she so, got a G-Wagon. Who bought that G-Wagon? Who bought her this car? I could have bought her this car. 
I said, but you didn't buy the car. So I don't know where the car came from. You but you decided they was upset. Like, I could have bought the G-Wagon. I'm thinking to myself, Mel, they could have bought the G-Wagon. But Mel was like, no, like. Wagon. That's right. That's right. It's a level of independence and it's a level of my blessings knowing that it's only coming from God. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, I'm not having to use nobody for nothing. I ain't having to mistreat nobody for my blessings. I ain't have to try to get over on nobody for my blessings. Like this is legit 100 period. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Well, listen, Shanita, because I got to go up on the parasol in the sky over there. Sky up top. Okay? But listen, <laughs> this has been so I much love fun. You and so, I love much. so much. Listen, and I I'm gotta so do. Y'all go follow her. I need to tell them real quickly. Y'all go follow her. She's also a coach, mentor. Um, she's always doing, you know, her philanthropy in Africa, so you can donate to that. I always say you can't get there, but work on sending the people that can't go. So make sure you go over there and donate. Dr. Shanita, C-H-A-N-I-T-A -A Foster. Y'all go follow her, support my girl. Yes, she I got an end. I got an end on she look, is, my shameless plugs. It's two things. No, three things that's close to my heart. Okay. First thing she said, uh, the philanthropy piece. I said this weekend, little money equals big money. You have to put seeds in the ground to get something. So you don't have to give to me. Give to somebody somewhere. I don't know, somewhere around the world. That's first. Number two, the coaching is peace, purpose, pay. Because you remember I said that I went through a, a depression. You know, I, I, I had a suicide attempt. I believe if you master your peace and you understand your purpose, getting paid will become so much easier. And it's like people want the money, the money, the money, the money, the money. And so I was like, okay. And literally, we were just talking, you need to come. I even paid for you to come. We're going to Dubai in October. You coming? Let's go. Let's go. Mel. Let's go. Beginning of October, go. I do peace, you purpose, pay. Mel, you know how I travel, Mel. So you up in Mercedes Benz and high-level cars. But we're going to go find our peace. We're going we're gonna to talk about purpose on the yacht. I don't know if y'all follow me, but everything. I do got to be five star, and then we're gonna talk about pay. But I, I and, want Mel to come. I'll it. take care of Mel's whole trip. The trip is only for about ten, maybe fifteen people. I can't move around with that because I move at a certain level. But definitely, peace purpose last, Mel. And I'm gonna send you a bottle when you get back, Mel. Mel. Yes. Listen, you yeah, to the me, kids. To me. I am really focused on after my nephew just passed away. Uh, now it's about two weeks, about two weeks ago. I really focus on people yeah. not yeah. much just being health, wealthy, but also being healthy. And so it's right. not a shame. Uh, this is my life. And I really want people to be alive. I want people to live the best version of their life i want people to wake up and to feel good having a child that went through cancer having people that have so many ailments we can't keep playing with our health so it's not really a shame this is really near and dear to my heart that if you have the opportunity to have access to something it may not just be alive it could be sea moss it could be whatever you want take care of your health we get one life we have one body we have this mind and we have to take care of it so i had to say that because those are my shameless plugs i wouldn't be who i am if i'm not saving the world loving people and getting healthy mel i love you i want to cry so bad i thank you for being an amazing okay, friend don't you, don't you for being a friend that is not the TV friend, that checks on me, that calls me. This live had upwardly to a thousand people. And I know that those thousand people, majority of them came from your side. And there's some people that would be so afraid to share their platform, to even go live with somebody because of their selfish intentions in life. 
and in business. And when I said, Mel, let's just go live and talk. You didn't say, no girl, let your manager talk to my manager or your people get with my people or don't talk about your book or don't talk about that alive juice. Focus on it. You were like, whatever you need. I asked you for some information the other day and I couldn't figure out how to get it. I kept asking people, how do you do this? How do you do that? And nobody wanted to give me the information, ma'am. You were the first person that I said, how do you do this? You said, girl, I'm gonna send you the number that da 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 da, -da and call them and it was something that small. And so I thank you for being a real friend because on my lowest days, I know that you got my back. I know what it's like to go through this journey to, to have to deal with children. I know what it's like to escape. I was joking about a man being there, but I get on the plane often. It is my self-care to go be by myself. And, I, and men get to be daddy when they want to. Mama's got to be mommy 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So we do need to decompress. And so I thank you for doing the same thing because we get judged for that. If we get on a plane, we on the boat, we on the beach, we a horrible mama. But they can go off in the world and go do whatever they want to do, be what they want to be. And nobody questions the level of parenting of who they are and what they're doing. So I just wanted to end by saying I thank you and I love you. And I can't wait for us to link up. Post the video, girl. I got to see the video of us. Okay, I love you too. I love you. Thank you so much. Um, you already know how I feel about my sis right here. Y'all, Dr. Shanita Foster, head over there, get her book. Girl, I'm not tripping. I'm depressed. Get that alive, juice. Sign up for her peace, pay, purpose, mentorship. Y'all, go on and get with it. Dubai. They're going to gonna be it, mad okay? at us in Dubai. I love you, sis. That's all right. Woo! I get your, I get your peace paid for. I ain't even worried about it, man. Oh, girl, I know you. I, I know. I, I already know, girl. Love you, too. I'll talk I to you, too. You. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.